Developing news tonight, South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson confirms that the state's fetal heartbeat law is now in effect. It bans abortions once a heartbeat is detected, which in most cases is around six weeks. This comes after Democratic gubernatorial candidate Joe Cunningham called on state lawmakers during a news conference this morning to not take any action until after the general election. News 2's Lexi Moore joins us in the studio with more information. And Lexi, both Cunningham and the governor shared their thoughts about the attorney general's decision, and they did that tonight on Twitter. Brendan Carolyn, the law was signed by Governor McMaster last year, but was not enforceable as it was caught up in federal court. Now, after the Supreme Court's ruling on Friday, South Carolina attorney Alan Wilson says it can be enforced effective immediately. Our daughters now have fewer rights than their mothers and grandmothers. South Carolina's fetal heartbeat law can now be enforced after the Supreme Court's ruling overturning Roe versus Wade. South Carolina's Attorney General Alan Wilson explained that the decision paved the way for the legislation, which was signed into law last year, but has been held up in federal court to take effect. He says in part, quote, the heartbeat law is now in effect once Roe versus Wade was overturned by the Supreme Court. The decision on legally protecting the lives of unborn babies was returned to the states. Our state is now carrying out a government's most sacred and fundamental duty, protecting life. The law bans most abortions once a heartbeat is detected, usually around six weeks, with exceptions allowing abortions in cases of rape or incest or if the life of the mother is threatened, but only if the fetus is less than 20 weeks along. Governor Henry McMaster has shown his support for enacting tighter restrictions on abortion without any exceptions. He took to Twitter Monday night in high spirits. We finally spent nearly a year and a half defending the Fetal Heartbeat Act in court. Finally, it has gone into effect into South Carolina. This is why Friday's U.S. Supreme Court decision is so important. Countless unborn children will be saved because of this law. Today, Cunningham, who will face McMaster in November's general election, slammed the legislation and tweeted, saying in part, quote, It's beyond extreme. It's reprehensible. Promising if he is elected, he will protect reproductive freedom. When I'm governor and a bill that bans abortions with no exceptions comes to my desk, I will veto it so hard it will make your head spin. We have more information on the potential impacts of the Supreme Court's ruling on the, and the fetal heartbeat law on our website, counton2.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Lexi Moore, Count on 2.